So anyways, another person had an opinion on this matter of child spankings and if it's abuse to the child or not. Is what I'm saying is, would you rather have your cut your child first and wait till they got older and let the cops do it, or would you rather do it first, or would you rather have a boy come at schoolyard and beat the crap out of your kid? And your kid don't know nothing about violence and pain and stuff because you never taught him that in the physical form that every human being has has to learn. You go to they go to school, get their butts beat by a bully because a bully has this stuff. Don't understand violence ain't the reason or ain't the uh, good reason to do so, but they never got taught that after they did violence. They beat the crap out of your kid, your kid's damn near dead, his pain factor and everything. So that's my opinion on it. I think spankings are good in a certain degree if the child is, doesn't want to respect you and obey you and listen to you and after you have tried to teach and teach them in a non-violent way. A spanking is not a beating. You don't have to beat your child. You just spank them until they, uh, you know, not until, but kill this dog. everybody, this is my dog over here. How you doing? He's just in the video, so just bear with me. Um, so I think they shouldn't, that we all been spanked. And once we learned the spanking, that we did something wrong, we usually don't go back and do that wrong again. It's just like, you know, putting your hand up on a burner. We understand that once we put your hand up on a burner, we're going to get burnt and that hurts. It's just like like child uh, spankings. Once they do something wrong, they won't go and do it again and again and again because they know that they're going to get hurt in a good way. It's a, our body's way of teaching us. Um... I also believe there's a, a woman that had the other side. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I believe it's perfectly possible to raise a child who is empowered to make the right decisions without physically disciplining them. There are multiple examples of such children growing fine adults who are active contributing members of society. Being a child who was spanked to the point that was bruised and bloody made no difference on my becoming a rebellious asshole of my youth. It only taught me fear and how to lie to God against spank. Therefore, I refuse to physically spank my child. Same way, we definitely have a wonderful relationship which has been taught to respect and honor each person through positive reinforcement. Um, another woman that has three kids and a younger age, but we all been spanked for stuff we have done. Sorry, but sometimes a kid needs a good ass whooping. I've tried everything. Do not whoop my daughter. There's a difference of whooping and spanking. Remember that. Whooping is abuse. Spanking is teaching respect and discipline. I tried a nice approach and I tried, I'm going to scream at you, but not whoop your approach sometimes. They need a good spanking. My child's not going to disrespect me or any other adult. I don't beat her, I spank her. There is a difference. So then, uh, at what point is it taken too far? In my humble opinion, too many times it gets taken too far. Too many instances parents spank or hit their kids out of anger. What does that teach a child? I teach a child that it's okay to hit someone when you're angry with them. I never had discipline, discipline problems with my child, and I certainly bring that into correction whenever she disrespects anyone. That includes me, teachers, parents, and anybody else. But perhaps I've been blessed with a well-behaved child. There ain't no such thing as a well-behaved child. Um, I started early with her from when she was a young baby, raising her in this manner. Does it take a little more energy and effort? Absolutely. Has it paid off for me in my relationship with my daughter? Absolutely. 
personal, I personally believe that if you're trying to teach a child nonviolent uh, resolution techniques, spanking or hitting them is counterproductive against something, in my opinion. That's all right. Um, there's a place for spanking, and there's and there's another woman. I think there's a place for spanking, not if it's the only form of discipline. Discipline only by the hand on the bottom, not the face or legs. Um, so basically, I'm not going to read all hers because she actually went into a good, uh, actually. Uh, as parents, grandparents, when you focus on teaching kids life skills, a lot of place for having time out or bad behavior, or bad behavior, and also a place to just get it out. Kids have meltdowns like adults. But they only know how to cry, scream, tantrums. It's a great concept and works. I've seen my daughter use it with her three and a half year old, and I've done the same thing. Um, it's okay to cry and stomp, get it out, but the rest of us don't need to see it. The value is meltdowns. It's just happening. But then once you leave that spot, it's time to move on. Just remember, kids under age of six, seven years old only have the limbic part of the brain developed. That's the unconscious part. They can only process feelings, not facts, or connections between one event and another. That's why crying is a common outlet. Now, alright, this again, my opinions. A child, yeah, okay, I agree with that. I agree on both sides. I agree that child abuse is, and Spankings are two different forms of discipline. I also believe that you can spank a child and you can actually sit down with them and talk to them and let them uh, sit them out in a corner or a different room or whatnot and just let them get out of their system. There's those two ways. But my opinion really, I mean spanking, we all been spanked for doing something that we wasn't supposed to do and we've been told by our parents, our authority figures, uh, if it's another adult, if it's an, uh, our own parents, teachers, stuff like that. Uh, I'm not saying teachers and all of them should be spanking, but we all have taught that we I do have authority figures we do need to listen to. And so to start out learning that is to actually start respecting our parents, listening to them. And if you do not do what they tell you and many times over and they keep telling you to do it and you have been put in time out, been put in a different room and all that and you still don't have uh, the corrections or whatever, then either there's something else you need to go and deal with, but spankings teach the child not to do the things over and over. Keep, it's, and that if you keep doing it and not listen, there is a discipline that's going to happen. That's why in thousands of years, we've always had cops, we've always had authority figures. We have always had that. We, unless, until we get off an authoritative uh, rule of life, that would never happen, never stop. So, and spankings is actually the first step of teaching child. There are authority figures, and you have to listen to them to do good. And if you're going to continue doing bad and not listen, then the one uh, discipline as a child is to get your butt spanked. And getting spanked on the butt or hit with the switch, you actually, uh, you're teaching, you're not trying to abuse the child, kill him. You're just trying to hit him enough like that. So they will know next time if they're going to get in trouble and, and they're going to get caught and they're going to get in trouble that that's going to come and they should the, the right then and be like, wow, I know I'm going to get my butt spanked if I go do this. If I go out with you guys, ride my bikes out past 8 o'clock when I know I'm supposed to be inside at 8 o'clock 
when you're seven, eight years old, you ride around the neighborhood with your neighbor kids, you know you're supposed to be inside at a certain time. You get in eight ten, where you been at, you know you're supposed to be and you get butt spanked. Next night, around eight o'clock, your butt's back inside because you don't want that spanking. So it's a teaching discipline, natural discipline we all need to grow up where we won't be bad, troubled parents. Now, like I said, there's a difference in child abuse. Child abuse and having parents that do beat the kids and who are drunks and whatnot. A lot of that is because of a uh, bad parent, of course. Um, parents just uh, getting drunk, doing stupid stuff like that, growing up in an abusive family, and then having their own kids, and then abusing their own kids. There is a line of somebody got to step in and help that people out. There's a difference in that. There's a difference in child abuse, and there's a difference in spankings. And there's a difference in spankings and a difference in nonviolent discipline. But that's all my opinions on this. I'm, I was trying to keep this kind of short. I, I could go on for hours on this subject, or and uh, I just that was my take on uh, child spankings and uh, abuse. So if you uh, guys got any more comments, uh, whatever, write down below your comments what do you think what do you consider violence do you, uh, what do you think of child abuse and spankings do you think spankings is a form of violence uh, that needs to be avoided do you think that's a form of violence that is a natural tool to teach children uh, about discipline and uh, to start respecting uh, the parents or the authority figures so that when they do grow up they won't become abusive parents and, and, and violent people. Um, or do you think we, there's better ways and more effective ways where we can all learn and teach or not spank the child and also discipline them? What is your opinions on these subjects? Or questions I have, write them down below. Um, I would like to know your guys' opinions on this. And uh, like I said, my name is Paul Bowen. Still, I had to cut this video short. Uh, and uh, so that's why I, uh, this topic was about child abuse and spankings. Uh, you guys take care. That's all I gotta say about this right now. Um, you guys have a good night and God bless.